video is going to talk about adding case notes to a customer profile. Once you're in the Customer Support Center, your program or group of customers will show up in a list. And then all you have to do is click on the name to get to the customer profile. You can access case notes from three different places. On the progress page, on the career plan, and on the case notes. On the progress page and the career plan, the case notes are at the top, and if you click on the word case notes, you can see the case notes associated with the progress or the career plan. If you want to add a case note at this point, you can add it here, and it will be associated with the progress page. And if you click on add a case note from the career plan, it will be associated with the career plan. From the case notes page, you can see all case notes that have been added for a customer, no matter where the case note has been added. On here, if you want to look for a particular case note by date, you can enter a date range into the start and end date, and then click Filter. So it will give you just the case notes from that time frame. If you take the dates out, and then click Filter, it brings back all of the case notes. By clicking at the top of any column, you can sort the case notes by that particular column topic. So if you want to sort by task, contact date, subject, comment, delivery method, entered by, or the date entered, then you can sort by that. By clicking on the export, you will receive an Excel spreadsheet of all of the case notes associated with that customer. The beauty of this is you can upload all of these exported case notes to any customer management system that you use, like a Salesforce tool, and add those case notes to your tool so you don't have to type twice. Let's actually add a case note now. When you click on the Add a Case Note, this modal window pops up and you can select a task, so whatever it is that you want to type the case note about. We're going to talk about training here. The contact date is the date that you are actually writing the case note. What is your subject? And then what is the message that you want to enter? Once you're done, you can select how you want to send the case note, either as just a WorkNet message, as a WorkNet message and an email, or save it as just a case note. This message would go to the people on the right-hand side that you select, so that if the case note has something to do with the customer and you would like that customer to receive it, then you can click their name or any other people associated with this particular customer that show up on the right-hand side here. If you send an email, it comes from your email address, so then any responses to that email would actually return back to your email address. Then we can select Add Case Note. And as you can see, the case note is at the top of our list. That's it for case notes. I hope you picked up a nugget or two. Thanks for watching.